Hey there, Captain. I got a favor to ask. Have you got a moment? You see, Yuno tried to go visit Asuna. She's one of the plague patients they took over to Friar for further study. But that doctor, Raquel, Rachel, whatever, wouldn't even let her in to see the girl. She said Asuna wouldn't be getting any of Yuno's letters or emails or anything either. It's like they sealed off the whole fortress. Don't get me wrong, Rach made all sorts of protests about it being to prevent infection, but I don't trust a word out of that girl's mouth. That's where it stands, and that's where you come. Is there anybody on fire that may still have this fortress? Believe you me, good old Julius was the first person I tried to contact. I got sick. second for the lovely Satsuki? Huh? It won't take long. It's about that thing we talked about before. You know, the thing that we talked about before. I've made some progress. I really think I'm onto something big here, much bigger than I expected. I don't think they're treating the patients that they bring to Friar. How do you know that, Satsuki? You may ask. Well, I'll tell you. First, delivery records. Since they closed off Flyer, they haven't taken on a single pill, potion, or poultice. Second, every doctor and nurse that used to be stationed there has been transferred to headquarters or one of the branches. There's not one doctor left on Friar to treat any of the... Wait. No. No. I suppose there are two, Rachel and her sister. But I don't even think they count. What are they doctors of anyway? Weird, right? Right! They go out of their way to bring on all the contagious plague patients and toss out all the medical teams? I thought maybe it was some political gambit kind of thing, but it's way too intense for that. Anyway, that's everything I've managed to pick up so far. Hey, don't tell you, okay? I know she seems all demure, but she can be bullheaded. Before you know it, she'll be leading a charge. Point is, thanks again for your help. I'll keep you updated if I learn anything else. One other thing. Well, you know Fram, the operator that I interviewed over there? She wanted off of Friar. She won't say much, but whatever's going on there is really freaking her out. She petitioned Director Sakaki, and he had her moved out here. She wants to see you guys, so stop by whenever you get the chance. A survivor! Hey! Over here! It's... Dr. Leia. You... found me. You're injured. We need to contact Friar right away. No. Don't... Take me to the director of the Far East Branch. Please, I... I request asylum as a Fenrir executive. Dr. Leia, what happened? Why don't we save the talking until we get back, huh, Captain?
<laughs> Pardon me. A spinal cord injury and a cerebral contusion. I'm afraid she's brain dead. Is there nothing we can do? If I hand over my research to Fenra, they'll be willing to help. There must be a way. Uh, I only spoke to my colleagues briefly. I can make no promises that she'll recover. However, Dr. Shiksaw at the Far East Branch recently developed the P73 bias factor. It may help her. You mean... She'll become a god eater? No, sir. The cells involved aren't controlled oracle cells like the god eaters. She would be much closer to an origami. Initial testing of the factor has granted subjects extraordinary healing abilities. It's experimental. Accidents have occurred. There are reports of cells simply going wild. This experiment could kill her. It's a possibility. The program's funds were frozen after the accidents. There was only one recorded success. Dr. Shixel's son, Soma. Of course, I've heard of his success. I see. I... I'm sorry, Doctor. I need to think. Yes, of course. However, please, don't take too long. There is much that needs to be done. That's when this began. All of this. On that day. It was my fault. All my fault. I, I didn't mean to push her. I didn't mean to hurt her. I... That's enough for now, Captain. We should let her rest. We'll continue this another day. Yes.
it was probably a month after she... After I pushed her. The treatments were done and she finally opened her eyes. I'd never been so happy. She'd changed too. <laughs> Whatever my father did to cure her made her more outgoing, more ambitious. She was so clever. And ever since then, no, even before she came back, I was bound to her every whim. I lived in terror. She never let me forget what I'd done to her. Never. Rachel, you're back! You must have been so lonely. No, Leah. I realized something while I was at the hospital. I'm not alone. I'll never be alone again. Rachel. Oh, my sweet Rachel. I'm so sorry. The damage to her spinal cord was simply too severe to repair. No. No apologies, Doctor. You went above and beyond the call of duty. It is enough of a miracle that she recovered at all. Thank you. Seeing the two of them finally getting along as sisters, that is truly extraordinary. Rachel, I... I'm so sorry. Everything that happened, I... It's okay, you big sis. I forgive you. I understand. Really? Oh, Rachel, thank you! I swear, I'll do anything I can to make it up to you. I'll give you anything you want. Mom's agate pendant, my favorite dessert, all my books. Only say the word and it's yours. Oh, and my dolls too, of course. Forever, Rachel. I'll give you everything I have if you want it. Leia, thank you. Do you promise? Please, no more today. Do you know why I supported your Ark Soldier program, Leah? Your Magnolia Compass, Rachel? Though I love you dearly, it was not born of my paternal duty. It was for mankind's future. The noblesse oblige. It's the duty of the powerful to help those less fortunate. Of course. I understand, Father. Then how could you do such things? How could you experiment on children? On innocence! You administered bias factors to children you knew to be incompatible! It's inhuman! Answer me, Rachel! I have no other answer, Father. <laughs> you summarized it very well. It's completely inhuman. What justification could you possibly have for something this sick? In all honesty, nothing could be simpler. It is all to ready the feast that must be served. This... this is far more than I can handle. There is no other option. I must report you to Fenrir's Court of Inquiry. I'm sorry. 
My own daughter. My blood. I hope you have a better explanation for them than you did for me. Rachel. Don't worry, big sister. The preparations for this test have long since been completed. Think of this as already done. I would like very much to take you up on your promise, Leia. I wish to borrow your doll. How could it come to this? My Rachel, my flesh and blood. What? An origami? No, it can't be. It's... Ah! The doll you and father made me? Is so wonderful. When I play with it, it does just as I say, Leia. Oh, I couldn't ask for a better gift. Rachel, you... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for everything. Rachel, this is all my fault. I did this to you. I'm the one who made you this way. All of this, all of this is because of me. I'm so sorry. Leia, my sweet sister, don't cry. All we have to do is make even more dolls to play with. Okay? <laughs> <laughs>